Here in figure two, we have these two triangles that are similar to one another, and that's the symbol right there, a little half part squig we use to, uh, to say they're similar to one another. So this triangle is similar to this. All it means is all the angles are the same and something simply expanded or contracted, um, sort of like putting it on a Xerox machine and blowing it up. So what we got to do is we got to figure out what X's value is here. Now notice X is between the 50, 60. That means that angle up there would have to be 70 because all triangles add up to 180. Here's 50, 60, so there's 70. So we know what sides correspond to one another. 10 corresponds to the 15. This unknown side corresponds to 12. And X corresponds to 21. So we can set up a proportion here with fractions equal to another. So I know X corresponds to 21. That's what I'm going to start with since I'm trying to find X. So X over 21 will be the same. That fraction will be the same as 10 over 15. Because the thing, this triangle is expanding at the same rate. As one side expands at a certain rate, the other side expands at the same rate. So now we have this proportion and we simply do the cross product. 15 times the X these multiplied equal 10 times 21. To find X, I simply divide by 15. And it looks to me as if, I'm going to do it right here, X is equal. 15 goes into there one whole time, 6 left over. It looks in my head as if I got 14. X will be 14. This length of this triangle right here, that leg right there, must be 14. Because 14 is to 21, the same as 10 is to 15. So there's figure number two.